All right, coil ring design. What we do here is we first do a sweep operation on the design. So sweep operation is supposed to be a circle first. So we want it to be 2D. So you just you don't want a solid. You go with the surface. And then on that surface right here, we start out with our trajectory. So if you want to detail your trajectory, it's saying, hey, you will need you need to build one. If you ever get into this point where you're stuck here and you're not sure how to step through on the trajectories, there's this line over here where we can build sketches. So you can build sketches and anything on play while you're doing your operation. So we'll build it here. We'll start our sketch and we'll start our projection. We'll do our circle. Let's say our circle is, I don't know, so let's say uh, 5 inches. There's our 5 inches. Off this design, we're now going to take that as our trajectory, so we say play. And now we're into the operation for that sweep. Next thing we want to do is we want to build a sketch at a, a sweep operation surface, and we want a line straight out. This line is going to decide the diameter of this sweep across the design. So let's say 0.75. We say OK. And you can see it into play right there. But you can see that it's just flat. So now watch the trick here. If we come in and instead of making this thing flat, we actually make it an angle up in space they're going to give us a angle over here we want an angle underneath it so we say angle down and there's our angle and then we want our dimension for the length of it so 0.75 there now here's where you can do the trick you can come over I think it's under tools no it's under Annotate, view, where are you buddy? Applications, flexible, view, tools, relations, there you go, so relations. Underneath relations, we want to take this dimension which is SD6 and we want to make it equal to tragpar times 360 times the count of spins that we want on the unit. So I don't know, let's try uh, 25, 25 spins. Then once we say OK, it's going to fold it back down, but it'll do the tragpar operation once we exit the sketch. So we get into the sketch operation, and we say OK. You don't see them happening until you push this one beautiful button. This button allows sections to change based off the parametric reference and relationships along a sweep. And there, it gives you the beautiful sweep operation. Now, once you're through with that, I would hit save, because you're at a point right here where you might have to rebuild a couple of times, then hit save. Now, next thing we want to do is we want to build a reference on those curves right there, but we want to make them all one. So come in here and build for a reference curve, and we want to grab intent chain, and we want to select this outer edge on this one, and then this outer edge on this one. It's showing you that your line's going to start there for the sketch, so you might flip it to this side. Uh, once you've done that, just say OK and understand that that's probably where you're going to draw your sketch. So, the next thing that you have to do on this design is we can grab this sweep operation and we can start the sweep. We can come in and we want it to do it as a solid for the unit, so we say check and then we can see our crosshairs happen at that point. So this point in time is where we put our circle. And does it have to be a circle? No, it doesn't. So let's try 150 thou and then hit OK. 
It's going to take a little bit of time for it to happen, but there, it builds your coil across your design. Next thing you need to do is you need to hide these surfaces. And then last thing we want to do is we want to hide this catch. And then once we've got that taken care of, we hit save. And now let's go over and render it. So, rendering application. Touch the coil. Change it to a cool color. Best color is these plastics. The clear plastics. You put those in there, you can see through it. It's one hell of a rendering. Uh, so we'll try maybe uh, green. And then I want to darken the green so I can edit the appearance. Go to the color. Underneath the color set, uh, go to the wheel and then maybe make it darker, lighter. Uh, then I can go to any color I want. I can go to yellow, I can blue, I can dark blue. Go to purple, go to pink. So you can get some really cool colors here. Uh, once you've finished up with the design, go ahead and render it. Uh, jack your rendering all the way up. Um, pick your location where you're going to put it. And this will be quail and hit render. And then once you're finished with that, go ahead and render that baby and take a look at it. Uh, talk to you guys later. Have a great day.